July edition of Shorty. Hey. 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 I feel like up? I went that I was I was really slow honestly because I couldn't remember what month As always yeah. it's every every time every time and I'm in like, fact I was thinking July it doesn't help that we're kind of recording this a little earlier than we normally would so I'm yeah. like what what what's happening Where what month is I? it <laughs> we are um, also this month is three years of wow. celebrating my worst state yeah. with you. Wow. Oh my so, God. If you would like to give us a present, uh, like, rate, and review. That yeah. would be amazing. We yeah. would love that. Yeah. Love a good review. Yeah. Well, did you guys hear about Victoria's Secret's rebrand? Oh, God. I'm so over them. I've been over them yeah. since like um, 12th grade. Well, no, mine went into my 20s. Yeah. I'm I'm not going to lie. I was pretty basic in my 20s. So I would I still would the pink on your butt oh, was Yeah. Oh was yeah. Definitely. I never a got quality into that. that I was <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> trying to be that girl. Well, but, um, well, yeah. I mean, I feel like the words on the butt were a very specific moment in time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember I was juicy. Juicy, the yep. juicy couture <laughs> tracksuit. Oh. Dude, mwah, how gorge. inappropriate. So what much were we wearing those as literal children? You know yeah. what I wore? I was in I was a middle school middle school cheerleader and we had Sophie shorts, which are, you know, mm-hmm. those like cloth shorts that have the white band on them. Yeah. And it was really popular to have those shorts and then roll them up. So that they were yep. sh- not short enough already. As They're short, very fucking short. As short mm-hmm. as they could possibly be. And then because it was the mid 2000s all of them said like cheer on the butt oh yeah like, oh yeah. <laughs> of, yeah it's just like oh my god but yeah no i mean victoria's secret i feel like it was kind of like at its height around that time you're like, right the mid 2000s was like mm-hmm. everybody wanted that like super skinny victoria's secret angel yes body uh, and we were having real problematic conversations around like praising these models for releasing their Pre runway show diets, which was like four grapes and a cube of cheese or right. something, oh, you know, and we yeah. were all like, amazing, what self control? And looking yeah. back, we're all like, oh, God. So just a tic tac, just one? Wow. Oh, wow. So I guess Victoria's Secret's been losing money for a while because <laughs> hand over fist. We're, yeah. you know, a growing. variety of different yeah. things. Yeah. 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 And uh, so they have decided to rebrand. They have Megan Rapinoe, who is a, um, who I love. Yeah. Oh, she's yeah. lovely. Yeah. And she's a soccer player for the U.S. women's soccer team. Priyanka Chopra Jonas is now one of their new ambassadors. Hmm. And they're. <sighs> what What is this rebrand supposed to be? Inclusivity. Do you know? So not just tall, skinny Victoria's Secret angels. Like everyone is. But uh, isn't Priyanka tall and skinny? Yeah. I don't think she's that tall. And she's. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Well, she's and, not and that also, tall. Megan Rapinoe yeah. is skinny. So. Yeah. And Priyanka Chopra isn't. Isn't Victoria's Secret angel. Right. Thin. You know okay. what I mean? Which I feel like there is one look that Victoria's yeah. Secret has. Yeah, had. Yeah, yeah. Them it diversifying is, diverse, yeah. is not. It doesn't really. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much yeah. at all. Like it's just. So they're doing that, and I don't know. I feel like they really want a pat on the back for this, and yes. I'm just like, no, you know that you're you have to diversify, yeah, to even stand a chance of not going under. Well, <laughs> I right. mean, it's the same same thing with people putting um or not people, but brands putting pride all over their stuff okay. on June, despite the fact that many of them have donated so much money to yes. anti gay politicians and everything like that. I feel happy that. There are a lot of people who are uh, jaded to that now that can see it for what it is. And I feel like the Victoria's Secret thing falls in under this. It's like Mm -hmm. just a desperate ploy to make money. Yeah. Um, I need you to show me. That's that's where I'm at just period with anything, you know, even with and not to be a downer. And, you know, this is all going to be old news by the time people hear this. But even with making Juneteenth a national holiday, I'm like, oh, I'm glad 
that it's happening, but I'm also yeah. very but cynical like, about how like, about the kids that are going to go through school that have no idea why exactly. that holiday is going to be. Oh my god, that's so funny! Like my son's 24, so I asked him today. I was like. I was like, Dylan, do you know what Juneteenth is? And he was like, nope. And I was like, so you don't know why we're like, why it's a holiday. He knew nothing about it. And I was like, and I'm surprised. I mean, like he's younger. So I guess I expected no. younger people to be more aware. And especially Dylan, because he seems so like he's very much like stays up on news. And so, so maybe he was fucking with me. He could have been <laughs> now yeah. that I'm well, wait, now that I'm thinking about I it. I feel like a lot of people didn't know about it until last year. Like, I feel yeah. like last year was kind of the first time where people were really exposed to it and like i'm happy that it's a national holiday i'm not saying i'm not happy yeah. i'm just saying it feels like uh, i we weren't asking you for a holiday we were asking you for structural <laughs> systemic change right. like it's tons like, tons it's like that things. meme that your boyfriend posted eric posted um, yeah where it's like, it's like the hopping steps, over it's like, like reparation yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah police reform yeah you know that. Like, holiday <laughs> holiday just right to the holiday we'll give you a day off work maybe mm, our yeah. company is doing a day off work you um, know yeah so it's just an interesting thing i don't know i'm glad that the uh, and it, you know i'm glad that the days of the victoria's secret angel exclusively being the beauty ideal is is going out the window i'm happy yeah. that that's happening but at the same time i'm like rolling my eyes so hard that they're trying to do mm -hmm. this you know i don't know Ugh, capitalism. Mm. Well, well, so glad we got that out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> good times. Good hey, time. all right. Who's got a, a would you rather for us? Oh. Would you rather be reincarnated as a sea creature or an airborne creature? Oh, sea creature all really? day. Airborne. I want to be in the ocean. I want. See, I saw Little Mermaid too young. I if I if reincarnation is a real thing, I'd give anything to come back as a dolphin. Birds aren't real. Dolphins are Birds smart. Aren't real. <laughs> Birds aren't real. Wow. I don't. You're going to come back as know. a bug. <laughs> I, okay. Huh. It's hard because I love the water more than anything. Like I love it's swimming. I like you. being in the water. I like being near water mm -hmm. a lot. But flying seems dope. You mm -hmm. know, like mm -hmm. flying seems super dope. But. But the ocean is very mysterious very, and it's very deep. So what is swimming but flying backwards? <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know what I mean? Just I'm flying not underwater. Sure I do know what you mean. Oh I'm not sure, but <laughs> I, I I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with sea creature only because like I feel like. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of adventure to be had in the sea. That's all. <laughs> Can that be a merch t-shirt? No. I want, I want it to be one of those motivational posters. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. For the shorty you had to do. We'll make, I'm going to make a motivational poster. Of that it takes itself really seriously. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> what is swimming but flying backwards? <laughs> but is it not? We are going forward. I want it to so be. Confused. I want it to be a picture of Michael Phelps. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like coming out. Yeah, like <laughs> oh, absolutely. No. Oh God. goodness! Okay. Wow. All right. Well, I mean, with that kind of ringing endorsement, <laughs> I'm gonna go with flying. Uh, <laughs> I'm sticking with flying because I um I don't like to be wet. But but are you wet <laughs> if you live in the ocean? Oh. I mean, these are the philosophical questions that I, I mean, don't think. I think my you should ask your professor. Oh. Are fish Will wet? You please. Oh my god, my head tell, hurts already. Tell, <laughs> tell tell them my my quote. And yeah, see, and see, see what, he, what says. he says. We're, yeah. says we're really it. inching into magnets. How do they work? Territory. Oh. I feel like you know. Well, we do yeah. know how magnets work, and that's the thing. <laughs> this is do more we? of a philosophical question: of Are you wet if you live in the ocean? <laughs> I mean. You, uh, what is yes, wet to but, a fish? Yes. Yeah. What what is water but underwater air? True. <laughs> <laughs> we are not high, let's I promise. Let's we scrap this go. whole episode. We should, we should start over. We need to go into story. We just oh lost so God. many lives. I know. <laughs> what well, a weird well. episode this has been. Uh okie dokie. Well, I have one little bit of a longer shorty okay. here. Okay. 
I had been dating this guy in college when I was a junior in high school. Red mm-hmm. fucking flag. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For a couple of weeks. And of course, I felt like I was in love. I mean, he was a 20 year old with a guitar and a car. And apparently that's all I needed in a boyfriend at the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. We would spend most of our time together in his car driving around because he, one, lived at home with his parents, and two, didn't have a job or money to take me on real dates. One time he took... Sounds about right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, No, this tracks. One time he took me to the Wendy's drive-thru and ordered me dinner. Like, he ordered for me without (laughs) asking what I wanted. No. How romantic. Sir. We parked in the car, ate, and then had sex in the back seat. Oh my! In God. the Wendy's parking lot. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no! Yes. No! <laughs> Afterwards, as he's eating his frosty, it hadn't melted yet. If that tells you anything about the sex, <laughs> tells oh, me everything I need to know because those <laughs> things melt <laughs> be fast. <laughs> he proceeds to tell me that he thinks we should break up. Oh. I I just wasn't mature enough for him. Of course, I wish. <laughs> Excuse okay. me, my fucking face right now, Frosty man. Oh, okay. <laughs> of course, I was shocked and heartbroken. I tried to convince him. I tried to convince him I would change, but he would hear none of it. Listen, she's like sixteen. He calmly finished his Frosty and dropped me at home. Years later, he found me on Facebook and, of course, tried to get me back. No. By this point, I knew what an absolute creep he had been and told him as much before blocking him. But yeah, that's the story of how I got broken up with at a Wendy's. Wow. <laughs> wow. You had sex in a in car at a parking Wendy's. lot. Ooh. It lasted just long enough for a Frosty to not melt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not Horrible. good. You're like, I think we need to break up too because <laughs> I don't know if you were there for that last second. Yeah. But it wasn't great. No. 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 All right. Well, uh, I have one. I was seeing this guy for a few weeks. I picked him up and while I, he while I was driving, he was drinking wine out of a paper bag. No, sir. <laughs> I, I told him to put it away and he refused. No. I told him if he takes another drink, I'm pulling over and he could get out. The fuck out of my car. Well, he looked at me, (gasps) smirked, and took another drink. Is he five? I pulled over and told him to get out. He refused. (laughs) So since we were in a crowded area, I rolled down my window and just started screaming, get out, get out, get out, (laughs) over and over and over again until he did, which he only did because a couple of huge guys were walking (gasps) over to see what was wrong. And I drove away, leaving him there with his bottle of wine. Bye. <laughs> Hope it was worth it. He left a message the next day saying he was sorry I got upset about him drinking okay. wine oh. in, our, in our car. Yes, he called my car our car, and he would stop drinking. I told him to never speak no. to me again. No. Wow. No. <laughs> no. I, I love, love her. I love Get, get out. out. Get out. Get out. <laughs> oh, my God. So great. Woof. Um, I am telling this story because I think it's 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 a little bit sad and you're gonna be like, oh, but I want to tell the story. I don't know why. It just really struck me. I have epilepsy and I'm really forthcoming about this and I'm going on dates. Uh, and oh, I'm sorry. I'm very forthcoming about this. If I'm going on dates in case of a seizure, I always explain what to do and when to call an ambulance. I have had more than one date leave when I'm having a seizure because they were freaked out. What the fuck is wrong what, with people? What do you think is I happening? I don't mind if I'm honest, but I, if you are scared and you don't want to be in the situation, call an ambulance. If It's much more dangerous just leaving me, especially if I don't recover as quickly as I normally do. And I'm on my own unconscious for a stranger to find me. Oh my God. Isn't that the most? I mean, I listen, I wanted to share because I'm like, wow, that is, a, you've shared. This person has legitimately shared. They're going on dates. They're saying, hi, I have this thing. If you don't want to, don't fucking go. <laughs> but don't leave. But don't yeah. leave. Who <laughs> does that? It's, I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's awful. Who does that? I want to set you up with somebody good. I need you to reach out to You me. need to be set up with someone nice. Jeez. I hate everything. I hate people for you. <laughs> <laughs> this episode's a wild ride. Okay. <laughs> we took it, taking a turn. Almost went on a date with a guy who brought his pet iguana with him. <laughs> uh, okay. Went to pick him up. And when he got in my car, yes, 
my car, he had it sitting on his shoulder on a leash. All right, Jungle Jack. He didn't even mention it. Just acted like it was the most normal fucking thing in the world. He asked where we were going, and I immediately said, we are not going anywhere, and asked him to get out of my car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He seemed surprised by this. I was, was about to explain the lizard, but I cut him off. I'm too old for this, and there are other, less weird fish in the sea. Just get out. <laughs> I never saw him again. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she fucking yes. murtaud him. She's like, I'm too old for this shit. shit. Like, like, how many Get bad out. dates have you gone on where you're just like, at this point, you're like, no, first sign of weirdness, no, you just no. need to get out of my car. I'm not, no, not, thank you. Not doing the lizard tonight. <laughs> okay, this is a great one. Well, it was a few years ago. I chatted up and finally met with a guy for a date hiking that was really just a pretext for outdoor sex. We were in the woods of the very large city park and we were feeling frisky. Soon I was <laughs> on my knees, sucking him joyfully, oh. and he was moaning and aggressively thrusting I, into my face. I, I oh. feel like that's, is this daytime or nighttime? Do they specify? They do not. Okay. But so far, so good. Now, I love eye contact while servicing and I looked up into his gorgeous, dark, sinister eyes. He looked down at me with a is sexy a, sneer. This is a book? It's erotica, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And suddenly his face went from sexy dominance to abject horror. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> At that very same moment, I felt a movement <gasps> under my knees oh, no. and looked down oh, no. only to be face to face with a rather pissed off rattlesnake. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> There are two snakes in the story. Oh. Well, my dream date flew in one direction and I went tumbling backwards down a hill. I have no idea where he went and never saw him again. No what? way. <laughs> Come on. Listen, penthouse forum. Oh, that can't be true. That's, what I'm, that's a penthouse forum somebody wrote in. Oh, my God. Y'all have never done it outside? I mean, I have. I, I, I had no fucking snake? rattlesnake at me. Well. Wow. Well, no, to me... In the rain, I did it outside in the rain. Yeah. yeah. To me, it feels... That feels more believable than the fact that they de <laughs> never saw each other again. Like, they needed like, to see each other again just for the what the fuck moment. Well, woof. <clears throat> my story doesn't have snakes in it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Any other animals? It feels like very animal-themed <laughs> episode. Very animal. <laughs> so, the, any, any flying backwards? This is a shame <laughs> receipt. Long story short, she took me to an art show, which pretty much unlimited. Wait, oh, wait. With pretty much unlimited free booze. Uh -huh. I knocked over a sculpture and <gasps> vomited all over her while waiting for a taxi. No, I no, had a no. great time. She didn't. So I'm guessing I'm writing this on her behalf. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh. oh no don't get drunk at the art show but this at the same time art shows always have copious amounts of free wine yeah. always they're just that's playing with fire man yeah i yeah oh my god can you imagine knocking over a <laughs> no. sculpture and the artist was probably there oh, oh yeah my god. all i can think about is that scene in cocktail me too yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> like how'd you get the cockroach to stand so still oh god <laughs> Oh, man. Well, if Ooh. you guys have stories, be they short or long, reach out to us at our one-stop shop of a website. It's myworstatepodcast.com. And we love you so much. Cheers. Cheers.